Hey everybody, how you doing? I got to see an advanced screening of Teen Titans Go! to the movies, and we're gonna spend a few minutes talking about this very silly superhero movie. Pretty much every other superhero in existence, in the DC universe anyway, is getting their own movie, and Robin is hoping that someday soon it will finally be his turn. Unfortunately, everyone still sees him as a sidekick, and he and his fellow Teen Titans are considered jokes, so no one wants to make their movie. But the Titans are determined to get their own movie one way or another, and nothing will stand in their way. Not the Hollywood Studios, or the villainous Slade. Don't call him Deadpool. This is, of course, based on the Cartoon Network's Teen Titans Go!, which is a show that a lot of people love and a lot of people hate. I've caught a handful of episodes here and there. It's kinda hard not to catch an episode of Teen Titans Go! if I'm channel surfing on the weekend, because it seems to be the only thing the Cartoon Network plays on the weekend. It's like 18 hours of Teen Titans Go! and then 6 hours of Adult Swim. And honestly, I've never really had a problem with it. I would hardly consider it one of my favorite shows, but I don't hate it. Sometimes it gets a laugh out of me, sometimes it doesn't. The animation style isn't really my thing, but it fits what the show is trying to do. Ultimately, it's just a very silly, irreverent superhero comedy for kids, and it's perfectly fine. And I understand not everything in that show is going to appeal to me because it's not made for me. I am decades beyond this show's target audience at this point. And this is why I've never really understood the seething hatred that this show seems to get. There's nothing wrong with not liking the show, that's fine. But from what I have seen, most of the people who just can't stop talking about how much they hate this show are a bunch of grown-ass men and women like me who really should have better things to do with their time than to hate watch a kid's show. I know this is nothing like the old Teen Titans cartoon, and guess what? It doesn't have to be. Not everything has to be made for you. There have been multiple versions of shows I grew up with, like Transformers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that are vastly different from the originals, and you don't hear me bitching about it because they weren't made for me. The new Thundercats cartoon looks nothing like the one I grew up with, and I'm probably not gonna like it all that much. And that's okay, because it's not made for me. Doesn't matter what I think of it. I'm not their audience. No one is under any obligation to make everything for you or for me, and the sooner we all figure that out, the better off we'll all be. So now that that rant is over and I've lost probably half my viewing audience, not for the first time, won't be the last, let's talk about the movie. I think I was the only person at this screening over the age of 30 who was not accompanied by a small child, and... I honestly had a lot of fun with it. It's more or less what you would expect if you've seen the show. Uh, compared to the episodes I've seen, I think it's a bit better. Same style of animation, same style of humor. Some of the jokes definitely appeal to the children in the audience more than me. There is a fart joke, because of course there is. But there is a lot of good stuff going on too. I really like how Cyborg's tech appears to be highly advanced and at the same time ridiculously outdated, like he still uses audio cassettes and VHS tapes and I'll bet most of the kids in the audience have no idea what those are. Mommy, that looks like the voicemail icon. I did get a kick out of the jokes about DC's previous missteps in Hollywood. There was a Green Lantern movie, but we don't talk about that. And of course, there are plenty of jokes about how the Teen Titans are considered jokes. Because the people behind Teen Titans go ain't oblivious. They know. And surprisingly, a few of the jokes got kinda dark for a kid's movie, there was one thing in particular about Batman's parents, and I'm like, they went there? This movie went there? Holy shit! And surprisingly, a lot of Marvel references. I'm not sure how they got away with that. I'm not Deadpool, I'm Slade! No, I'm pretty sure you're Deadpool. And I really can't say enough good things about the cast, which has actual, honest-to-God, voice actors doing an animated movie. Tara Strong, Greg Sipes, Kari Payton, Hinden Walsh, and Scott Menville, of course by now all know these characters very well and do a great job of bringing them to life, and it's great to see them finally get a chance to do so on the big screen. Admittedly, it is a bit weird hearing King Ezekiel's voice coming out of Cyborg, but what can you do? They do have a few live actors lending their voices to this movie as well, like Kristen Bell and Will Arnett, but they do a fine job as well, and I will say, casting Nicolas Cage as the voice of Superman 
was a stroke of genius. The kids in the audience are not going to get that, but I did. The story is at least competently told, albeit a bit predictable at times, and there are a few moments where it feels more like a series of sketches that are just loosely tied together to form a coherent narrative, which is the risk you run when you're trying to make a movie out of a TV show that has 15-minute episodes. But with a 90-minute runtime, it never has a chance to wear out its welcome. The movie also has a few musical numbers, and some were better than others, but I wouldn't say any were really bad. And corny as hell though it may be, I kinda dug the theme song. Sue me. So yeah, Teen Titans Go! I liked it. As for whether or not you should see it, you really don't need me to answer that question for you. If you've seen the cartoon, you already have a pretty good idea of whether you're going to like this movie or hate it. There really aren't any surprises here, folks. And if you have children and you take them to see this, they will think you are the best parents ever. So get out there and buy their love. It's the American way. And like all good superhero movies nowadays, there is a mid credit scene. And I do not want to give away what happens in this scene, but I will say this much. If this means what I think it means, I think they're going to make a lot of people very happy. And I will say no more. And that's it for Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Till next time. Take care.